These are the gas power tools that I need to maintain the property. Now, the chainsaw, you may not need. I think that eventually you will need one, but I think you can put that to the side. But definitely, you need a weed whacker. This is an Echo. I bought this, this is probably 19 years old, and the only thing I've done to this other than replace the string is replace the spindle. I've never replaced the spark plug or the air filter. It starts up all the time. There's a little trick to starting all of your gas power tools. You, you kind of learn every uh, tool that you have. So this one I turn on, I hold the throttle down full throttle, pull the choke out, maybe three, yeah, three pumps on the little, the little uh, fuel ball here, and then put the choke in, still keep it full throttle. Usually, I usually let it warm up for about 30 seconds and then it's ready to go. It's been working great for, for as long as I've had the house. And I think this was the first tool that I bought. The next one is a leaf blower. This is a still. This is my third one. I've gone through two. The first one was I was working with my friend and we, we had rented a, a push-pull blower. It's one of the big machines. And I had the back backpack blower on. The intake got full of leaves and I seized the engine. I went out and bought another still. A friend of mine borrowed it and I, I came to realize later that he didn't borrow it for himself. He ended up borrowing my blower and another friend's blower and then he hired a couple of guys to work in his yard. So if I knew that was the case, I wouldn't have let him borrow. But anyway, he seized the engine by, they put gas in it without oil, without the gas oil, two-stroke mixture. And then he ended up buying me a brand new blower. He bought me one that was maybe, a, uh, I think, a size smaller than this one. And I called up Bob from Potters and uh, told him what happened, told him I didn't start the blower yet. And he said, yeah, just exchange it. So I gave him the old blower that the, my friend just bought me. It cost 80 bucks, and I got the most powerful blower that still makes. And it, this works great, I use it all the time. The way this one starts, is it's on the on position there's a choke here again the fuel ball three times starts right up that's that's the reason why i buy good tools i don't want to spend the day trying to start them i want to spend the day using them now this is my new toy this thing is great this is the 52 inch CRZ Bobcat. None of these are sponsored, by the way. Uh, they're just good tools. And before this, this has only got six hours on it. I just changed the oil last week. Uh, you change the oil on, on the first five hours. But this, um, this is great. The mower that I had before this was the Toro 48 inch walk behind. And I used that up right up until about um, maybe a month ago. And then I sold it for a few hundred dollars and I went out and bought this. I enjoy mowing the lawn. I get a lot of satisfaction out of it. You don't have to think very much. And at the end of it, you have something that looks nice. So I figured I'd treat myself. And I felt that I spent probably two or three years researching mowers. And I felt that Bobcat was the most bang for the buck. And this one starts up real easy. It's electric start. Just, uh, I don't have to choke it because I used it earlier this morning, but uh, if it was cold, I would choke it and then just turn the key. Or maybe I do have to choke it. <laughs> there we go. And as far as, as, far as putting the blades uh, in here, you just pull the red tab up and it's a matter of just going like this. Back. It's a wonderful thing. Okay, so those, well, let me just talk about my chainsaw. So the chainsaw, this is a steel, or still, and the only thing I've done to this, as far as maintenance is concerned, is replace the plug, clean the air filter, replace the air filter, and for starting this, throttle, put the choke on. Hear that pop? 
Then you push it up a little bit, take the choke off. And again, I did buy a new bar. Originally I bought the 16 inch bar and now I've got a 16 and an 18 and a few change. Chains, not change. So anyway, those are my tools. I'll see you soon.